How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Split View. My name's Jordy. With me is Tom, and this is the first time we're recording this. Yeah, it sure is. Um, you're all gonna die from the coronavirus. <laughs> nice segue, dude. Yeah. Yeah, in the first take, I had a brilliant segue that the world will never hear anymore, but yeah, coronavirus. Do it's we want to talk you. about that now, or do you want to kind of bring up I actually don't know that much about it. I right. just know that it's hitting people. I don't know about it specifically, but, like, well, what it is. Like, I'm not mm. a genealogist or a virologist, but Could Wuhan... Have had me fooled. Yeah, I guess. I do play virologist in Space Station I play 13. Plague Inc. too, so I'm basically <laughs> a fucking... I've s- already got booked my plane tickets to Greenland. Yeah, or Madagascar. Or Madagascar, yeah. Have you seen that um, Plague Inc. is on sale? No, it isn't. Yes. No, it, it isn't. Is. It is. It's oh. on sale. And like <laughs> that's awesome. A couple of days after, like the cases started come out, like there was a peak in player numbers. No. So, yeah. No. People are, no. 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 People are like fucking evil. <laughs> <laughs> like why? Yeah, I saw one guy who um yeah who who used the symptoms of the coronavirus and put it through Plague Inc to see the probability of us <laughs> living through it and we have a 70% chance of living through it based off Plague Inc rules. Wow. It's like him trying to like get prepared for it, you yeah, know, like exactly. okay, this is what we could do. It's going to affect these He's countries. He's already filled his basement with uh, monster energy and Cheetos <laughs> okay. and uh a blast proof that he just needed to uh, tick off his other boxes. Yeah, it's like Y2K. Exactly. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, coronavirus. Wuhan, China is where it started or something. It's something to do with birds, like quail. Like, it's an avian-type avian. flu. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but it's it uh, has upper respiratory issues. Like, you can asphyxiate yourself to death. Or not asphyxiate yourself, but you'll, you'll, you ask, you'll yeah. suffocate. Yeah. And uh, it doesn't affect chickens or something like that, but thing is where it um where it first appeared was very very close to china's well the wuhan's only level four biohazard lab oh and level four is like the highest biohazard level you can get that's where they have like they literally have like the bubonic plague and ebola viruses let me me just let me just chime in here do we really need to keep a copy of that absolutely absolutely tell me why so we can fucking analyze that shit and make vaccines for it but we don't, we don't have it anymore. We could, though. That's no, Not if you get rid of it. There was there was an Ebola virus, like, case last year. Well, that's true. There was. Like, that's the thing. Like, we need these viruses because, like, what do you think these people are doing all day at these level four biolabs? They're researching. They're testing. They're making vaccines. Well, I certainly hope so. Otherwise, they're letting out beer viruses to okay. sure. that, kill everyone. Well, that's what people are suspecting. Like, it literally, like, the first case was very close to a level four biolab. And they definitely I, I have think it that's there. a safe guess if that's the case. Well, why though? Like, was it an accident? Did <laughs> was it like? Well, why would it be on purpose? I don't know, dude. Like, maybe like, you know, maybe just cull, cull the entire population down a little bit, dude. See if it kills everyone. Maybe there's nineteen. A... It's twenty twenty, not nineteen twenty. Okay. It's twenty twenty. About <laughs> time we have another plague, right? Every hundred years. Maybe there's some sort of important political figure or some whistleblower that happened to be that in, in that exact area. Ooh. You know? And instead, they decided to like infect the entire world. It's a great cover story. Sure is, I guess, with the Probably. risk of possibly killing themselves too and other people, like their family. But whatever, you know, it's all worth it. It's easy to isolate yourself from that. You just need a positive pressure suit, which is kind of easy to get. You just have to wear it literally all the time as well. Well, you can, you can, like, we talked about it before, but the CIA were doing like experiments releasing. Uh, like the flu and like plagues and shit into sewers so that the rats would carry it. So they could have done that. They could have just gone underground and released it. So you would never see them. They can wear whatever bio suit they want, you know? Fair Scary enough. shit. I'm not sure if I would do it. Actually, I would. Otherwise, I'd die. Yeah, exactly. But the fashion <laughs> sense is just not there for me, dude. Yeah. I don't know if I could... If I don't have my swag, am I even living anymore anyway? You're not into the cyberpunk aesthetic of nah, like man, nah, biohazard nah, 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 suits nah. and shit? No, nah, no. Nah. Not okay. unless it's got uh, Gucci belt and a Louis Vuitton headband okay. with it, dude. That's the only way I leave the house. I'm not I'm not safe unless I've got yeah. my strap on me and my Louis Vuitton headband. And a Tommy Hilfiger positive pressure. To- Tommy Hilfiger, yes. Hilfiger. Okay, whatever. I don't know. Hilfiger. I don't like it because it shares my name. <laughs> my brand okay yeah Tommy yeah what were you um what were you gonna talk about okay this week, so Jordy? today's uh episode is I really liked last week's episode that we did we had like a few uh like scenarios quandaries to work and through. shit yeah so I've I've got moral quandaries uh today as well but they do have a common theme um 
So what I'll do is I'll, I'll I'll let you pick. You can pick A, B, or C first. Which one do you want to do? C. C? All right. Do you know why I pick C? I don't know why you pick because C. Because I have trouble finding randomness, so I pick the middle one. Which is... Out of A, B, and C? Yeah. Oh, no, no. no which would be B? I thought C was the middle because I'm, <laughs> I am acoustic. Yes. <laughs> so you want B or C then? Uh, B. All right, B. All right, so I've got three scenarios. All of these deal with quite sensitive... Uh, not sensitive, but like... You, you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Yes, contentious, good word. <laughs> I don't I, even know what it is, and I know like the right it's word like, for it's it. Like, it's going to raise some questions, for yeah, sure. Yeah, contentious. Um, so just, uh, I'll, I'm going to give you a bit of a backstory and all that, because I sort of got a little bit into it, and like, okay. used my storytelling skills a little bit to sort of... These are all actually based off of um, um, famous, I guess, quote-unquote famous, like well-known in the uh, philosophical uh, fields... Um, they 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 already exist, but I rewrote them to make a little bit more sense because they are. Should we uh, dig up those those um Google Docs that I have? The Google your... Docs. Yeah. Do you not remember that? No, I don't. Your remember Your creative that. writing Google Docs. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. This is sort of like a very tame version of that, of course, because okay. uh, you know. Also, I probably... if I sound weird, it's because I'm sick and I have a throat lozenger. Yeah, that he's been opening packets and stuff, so don't worry yeah. if you're hearing <laughs> shit in the background. It's not the. Uh, it's not the uh, the Panadol demon coming after you. I tried to you. do it silently. The Panadol demon. Yeah. You mean ibuprofen demon? Yeah, whatever. The Tramadol demon. All right, this is scenario B. Okay. All right, listen up, kiddies. You can do this at home as well, but you don't have anyone to answer to, so you just look okay. like a fucking idiot. All right, in this scenario, imagine you work in the mines. Yep. You, along with the rest of your team, have been tasked to continue digging in an old abandoned mine. First, you will have to make sure it is up to today's health and safety regulations, so your boss instructs you to focus on that first and foremost. Your boss and the rest of the team take a quick look around the mine system and notice a cavern at the bottom of a very small staircase. Everyone makes their way down and you take a look around. You notice the structural integrity almost instantly and you can tell you will need to start from the bottom and work your way up to the top um, to prevent a cave-in. You mention this to your boss who agrees and instructs the rest of the team to do the same. Although there's something your boss knows that you don't. He knows that the, these mines were abandoned due to a massive cave-in a few years earlier causing five fatalities. It was a cheap plot of land to buy and to excavate so he took it to try and make maximum profit. Didn't tell you guys though. Your boss leaves having given his orders. He is a very large man and reaches for the handrail to go back up the stairs. He makes it up one or two and then one more step and the step below him caves in along with the handrail and everything else completely sealing off the cavern with everyone in it your boss is wedged in the hole between tons and tons of rocks and rubble you can't move him he's still alive though he's barely alive but he's still alive what you do have on you though is some low impact explosives okay as you would if you're working in the yeah. mines right uh, used to create small tunnels and clear low velocity explosives. Low velocity, yeah. Uh, used to um, create small tunnels, clear small areas. You know, um, you know, setting them off could trigger another cave in, but it's the only way you and your team will survive. Your best bet would be to set off the explosives where the original cave in happened, because that's where the stairs are, and of course the exit. If you use it to do so, would cause the definite death of your boss. What do you do? I would stick them to him and explode him. But you don't know that he airway. that he picked okay to to pick this mine. You don't know that this is all his fault, really. Here's, uh, this I probably shouldn't have mentioned that in the uh, scenario. No, no, but it's, like, it's, it's a good scenario. You're very good at reading, by the way. Thank you. This um this is kind of like the trolley problem, or almost exactly like the trolley problem. But yeah. You're trying to include variables and uh like external kind of things, like you know you're mentioning him picking it and all that, whereas. I think it's unfair to um to kind of judge that kind of shit or not judge but I feel like it just comes down to like a a, a body's kind of calculation like Yeah, exactly. Do you sacrifice one person to save like a group or do you save them, you know? So uh I'm not in this scenario. I don't know anything about structural integrity or very little, so I don't know, I blow him up, blow him up. You blow, blow him, him up. up, yes. Um cuz I'm saving a group of miners. That's true. Know? That's true. The uh, the odds certainly do add up in the in the favor of saving, yeah, um, more people over him. In real life, I wouldn't immediately go to blow up. I'd like you know, I'd like to look around, look testing, around exactly, yeah, of course. try to find an airway um, or something. 
in an attempt to sort of like save gaps in it i i tried mm. to make it a bit easier yeah to just understand um i think it's kind of hard to instantly say for me that i would do that because like yeah no matter what even it's though human it's human life it's a human life and it's like even though this decision was basically put in your lap yeah. specifically like it and all of a sudden because if you were the one holding this dynamite right yeah you know no one else is going to try and take it off you to do it right if you you happen to be the one who had it on you you I, would be the one who would have to make this decision i feel like people uh like that's a very high pressure situation you're going to die and people would be kind of anxious Look, and they'd, they'd be, be anxious looking struggles. for someone yeah looking for someone yeah who has a way out and if they see you with it they're going to think of themselves first which is what people yeah. do in those situations it's survival instincts hmm. is that they're going to do that they're going to say you need to do it you need to do it and in reality it makes sense to do it right yeah. but you have got a life on your hands at that point yeah anyway. it's, it's a shitty situation so. it's um a lot of um i've got three scenarios and they <laughs> are quite similar in that sense so let's just go with um another one now then already so all right imagine you're the captain of a small vessel you're carrying a handful of people say 20 to 30 You've made this trip before countless times and everything is going as planned. It's late at night and you decide to take a small nap. You drift you drift off and your nap turns into a deep sleep. Um, during your slumber, your vessel drifts away and makes contact with an iceberg. No, this isn't the Titanic. Okay. <laughs> this wakes you up, of course, and in a panic, you wake up and gather everyone else and get them all together. The vessel is slowly sinking as you find everyone. You decide the best course of action is to deploy the life raft you have on, the bo- on, on board. You also know that in an effort to save money, this lifeboat only has 7 to 10 seats on it. Everyone jumps from the sinking vessel to the lifeboat and you follow. At this point, everyone is either on or holding on to the lifeboat. The water is freezing, and the people outside the lifeboat will die within minutes of hypothermia. One of the passengers screams at you saying, Where are the other lifeboats? We're going to die here if you don't use them. You know full well there isn't one. What do you do? So this, this problem... Essentially, I have to choose who lives and who dies. You have to choose who lives and who dies. So... How do you reason it? I'm a consistent person. I'm not going to, like, start kind of... We we kind of talked about this with the self-driving car debate, like, whether cars should decide whether they should pay attention to age or, you know... Exactly, like, yeah, yeah. It is they should similar, judge yeah. or decide. So, I feel I would put it up to random chance. How would you um, enforce it? Um... I don't know, just literally short straw, maybe. I guess it's, you know, straws or something. But I was trying to think of that while you are saying it, how would I decide, like, the ran- randomness. But yeah, I don't I know th- how I'd th- do it, but I would not I would not judge. I was thinking, like, maybe I could do age-wise, health-wise, but in that situation, I am deciding who lives and dies. And I'm, like, I don't want to, like, personally kill someone you know because that's yeah. what you're doing you're killing someone exactly so if you sort of like remove yourself a little bit yeah by adding a randomness element i feel i'm not i'm not the person who should judge this it should, that's that yeah. is a very like uh it's actually a, a good answer it's one that i didn't think of i don't think there are any any are any good answers there's, no there's, there's only not, bad like, answers. It, that's a better answer than this one because yeah. there's actually more to this story yeah once you've picked your people and this is this is in the instances if you picked people based on um the health or based on yeah. age or something like that is um after two days at sea you've you've used up you had a few rations that you decided to take with you right yeah you you come into contact with a beach all right after two days everyone there is still alive everyone is safe chances are everyone could have been safe as well mm. including the people on the original boat if they, okay. if, if they had have made contact somehow with you know someone else and after everyone's rushed to hospital and immediately helped and all that sort of stuff, you were put on trial for picking the people <laughs> okay. because everyone else dobs you in. I'm pretty sure there's a law against this kind of thing, but yeah. okay, go on. So that was, and it's like, would, is it okay for you to be charged if you had made that decision? I don't think it's morally justifiable, like, to charge someone for, like, picking that. I guess if you don't like someone, you're like, no, fuck you, you're going to die or something, but... I feel like you would have, like, testimony from the people who did survive saying that 
you kind of made a rational decision. It was the people that um, that did survive who testified saying that... These guys are fucking assholes. I well, saved their goddamn life. That's, that's not what how the they... Fuck are they... What are they going to do? They didn't do shit, dude. They didn't do fucking All right, shit. They that, didn't try to save them. Tell that to them. a jury, Tom. This is tell an unrealistic a scenario, Geordie, and you're a that's, fucking asshole. That's the point, all right? That's okay. the point. These are to make you think, all right? I'm just going to take a quick drink here. Yeah. Don't... Why well, you keep fucking mentioning it? I want to cut it out, but you keep mentioning it. <laughs> Well, so everyone know you don't have to cut it out. I People, do have to cut it because it's fucking disgusting. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't drink that fucking loudly that time. All right, I know okay. you have to know it's a big problem. Okay, all right. I think in this, in the case of being tried for it, I, d- I don't, I, I can't imagine there's even been many cases of this or any. I think there like literally how, is a rule against that or a law against that because if you are, uh, if you, if you volunteer. Right, yeah. if you pipe up, like I don't. This reminds me of that one fucking movie. Have you seen Circle? I think it's called Circle. Oh, that what that alien game show thing? Yeah, where people have to, the like, entire thing is set in one setting. Yeah. Like the entire movie is in there was an, one. Setting. There was an exterior shot at the end of the at movie, the very end, yeah, yeah. and just a random ass park. Yeah, which makes no <laughs> sense because some people lived, you know, whatever. And what was yeah. the point? There wasn't any. But the whole point of that movie was, um. There was a big ring of like a hundred Not to judge people. a book by its cover, because that kid was an a-hole, even though the movie gave you no hints that he was an asshole, so it wasn't a good ending. Yeah. And you yeah. would go around and you would select people yeah. discreetly on who would die, and, and at the- first they try to ration, like, this old person's gonna die soon, yeah, yeah. fuck him off. And then at the end they get the quandary of, you know, there's a pregnant lady and a young kid, like a little girl. Yeah. And then this one guy kills them both and wins anyway. So yeah. the and the moral of today's episode is be an asshole because you live. Okay. I don't think that's that's a thing to do. I would I would one hundred percent The thing is, if if it was you and me stranded, right? That changes things. Like I mean if 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 I was on that boat with you, you wouldn't one of the people, I would have like a hold ups, you know. So yeah. I don't know if I could decide randomly since there's a chance that I wouldn't pick you, you know, so Yeah. I don't know, it's a hard situation. I hope I'm never in that situation. And, the, I mean, the likelihood of you ever being in that situation is... Well, yeah, but you know what I mean. Minuscule, but... Um, anyway, why don't I hit you with the last one, and then yeah, we can sure. just talk about some other shit for a while, okay. because um, I didn't think that they would uh, fly through this quickly, but that's all right. You know, we can, <laughs> it's we almost can... like I've thought about this, and I know where I stand morally. Exactly, yeah. That's, that's a good point. And it wasn't until you mentioned it that it was, like, basically entirely all variants of the trolley situation. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's uh, let's give this last one. This one's got a little bit more uh, ambiguity to it, I guess. So, the final scenario is this. Imagine yourself as a detective. You've received information that a terrorist organization is planning on planting explosives in a popular area of the city. The brass instructs you that they have just received a tip that a strange man wearing all black has been seen putting things in bins and under chairs and things around the town square. You rush to his last known location, and sure enough, you find the man. Upon first glance, he seems unagitated and calm, just gently messing around with stuff in the bin. Uh, You hop out of your car and slowly walk towards him casually just to see what he's doing, maybe ask him a few questions. And as you approach, he looks around and notices you. Immediately, he throws everything that he has in his hands and fucking darts. So, you pursue him on foot and call for other units nearby. An unmarked car intercepts him and picks him up. You rush back to the station to question him. As soon as you arrive, you bust open the door and ask him what what, what the fuck was he doing, right? He says nothing and smiles at you. You press him and ask him if he was planting explosives. Still nothing, smile still dawned. You You can tell he's not innocent. So you ask him one more time and he says, through the smile, only this, I want a lawyer. Okay. So, this would take hours. If you know anything about... You know, when they ask for a lawyer, that's like at least a few hours wait, right? You know, um, you still don't know for sure whether he's done anything wrong, but you also remember the bomb threats that the higher-ups mentioned, right? You could, however, try to get the information out of him another way. In an effort to save lives, you could try and beat the information out of him, right? Get it out quicker. Um, And thousands of lives are potentially at stake. What do you do? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a policeman or a detective, I guess. I have no, as you said, I have no hard evidence. He could just be some crazy dude planting dirty diapers everywhere because he likes sniffing them. <laughs> he needs to save them for later. So I wouldn't beat him. There's no real kind of evidence. Like it's just 
circumstantial like he's just been seeing placing things yeah he has guilt and um he's like ev evading arrest you know so i wouldn't beat him i don't i don't really think i would like beat him if he's yeah, smiling at you he know you know could just be a crazy dude like i have no direct evidence okay if the packages were picked up and analyzed and they were a fucking explosive then i don't know like go to where he was or something like you know what i mean like this yeah fair, enough, feel, fair I, enough as a if i was just a normal dude like non-action movie hero dude just normal ass police slash detective yeah i wouldn't beat the fuck out of him <laughs> like, yeah that's probably a good call yeah but because you didn't beat him yeah several thousand people die i've no fucking yeah i've people sh they should have analyzed the bombs they the bombs go off yeah the second you get back to the police they station they should have found the fucking bombs they're just leaving the fault, packages dude. it's your fault it's not my you fault you killed them all because i didn't beat a you, possibly innocent you man you killed three thousand people i didn't dude. kill three thousand you killed people. eighteen thousand people i didn't people, kill anyone dude, dude. i didn't kill you anyone. killed all of them i didn't kill anyone i'm an electrical engineer i'll fucking disarm that shit dude <laughs> yeah that's the same it's just the red what wire. What do you mean? <laughs> it's just the red wire. I, I literally can't analyze like explosives. keep talking and nobody explodes. It's all the same, dude. Someone posted a picture of a bomb and I literally reverse engineered the schematic and posted it on Reddit. That's uh that's some fucking uh, nerd shit right there, dude. It's called I Really Like Electronics. So, you know, obviously a bomb is in intriguing to me. <laughs> Fair enough. What would you do, Jordy? What would Come I on, do? Then, what the fuck would you do? I, you created I, the scenario. Well... See, the thing is, I thought about it, and hmm. if, in the case of, like, today's uh, structure for the police system, if you did beat the shit out of him, you wouldn't have a job afterwards anyway. I think you would have a job if this was this was America. Police are fucking brutal. This isn't America. America. This is America. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's, yeah. I was going to try and sing the rest <laughs> of that song, but I don't know what it is. Yeah. Um, it is in America, and I, I still think... It could possibly even in America. Well, they're they're. I hate to, I hate to question, generalize. I hate to generalize. The but question. if on the off chance the uh, the American policing system in this state or county, in their case, is um, is not corrupt, mm. on the small chance, um, and they did like they they even though you saved all these lives, you still beat the shit out of someone who you had no information on. Is this guy on. really going to tell where the fucking bombs are? He's some crazy dude. You beat the fuck out of him, maybe. No, he, no, he wouldn't. You're not going to kill Have him. Have you seen a movie, dude? That's how it works. You sit yeah, someone down in a chair, work exactly. you waterboard them, and you punch them in the face until their their mouths are like, and their entire faces are the size of a balloon, and then they tell you everything. That's nah, how it works. This guy's crazy. He's not, like, he doesn't work like a normal human being. That's true. That's true. Yeah. What would you do in the first scenario, Jody? What would you do in scenario B? The mining one? Yeah, what would you do? <sighs> Again, like... If if I had to... What I'd try and do first is, like, rationalize... I'll, I'll try and flesh it out, right? I'll try and think about it. Yeah, okay. If we had, like, any food or something first, I'd sort of check so I can make, like, a little bit more of an informed decision. This is the mining one, right? Yeah. Why don't you eat him? <laughs> Eat him away, creates a tunnel for you to crawl out through. That's that's true, yeah. but you, using what? We just bite his leg off, just like yeah, a dude. big old fucking, fucking chicken animals. leg. It's like a or until in his dawn. case because he's a big like round spherical man, like eight chicken that's, legs. He's like the the conductor from Thomas the Tank. Literally, Engine. that's who I was. Yeah, that's pretty conductor. much exactly who I was imagining. <laughs> okay, I actually imagined him as well when you were telling the the story. So that's funny. do you want to you <laughs> do you remember the funny story of uh, one of our teachers in school who shall not be named. She was a large e. lady. No, no. Oh, she yeah. was a large lady oh, at a CT. My one? My home group teacher? I think so, yeah. Anyway, she was she was a very large she lady. She fell down the stairs. Yeah, broke, she fell down. Broke her ankle in 28 places. Oh. Two steps. Well, that's not funny anymore. Two steps. Okay, that is a I little have, bit. I, my foot is literally dead and I've fallen down as, like, so well, many that, times. Well, that wasn't the thing that was funny. One, yeah. There was another time when she fell over on her back and literally couldn't get up. Like a turtle. <laughs> like a beach turtle, yeah. yeah. Like, it was, it was fucking hilarious. And she was like... And, okay, the only reason this is funny... I should preface this now yeah. because I just realized I sound like a fucking, like, absolute sociopath is that she was the worst she fucking a, teacher. She was, like, a, an actual masochist. Like, she, she hated literally kids. fucking, like... She was just terrible. She should not have been around kids. She hated kids so much. Like, I hated her so much. It was clearly, like... You know when you see someone in a job and you just know that this is what they have to do rather yeah. than what they want to do? Their way of making money. It's like, they, like... She's tried everything else and this is what was left. <laughs> so, like, this was, like, every single kid in our grades, mm -hmm. like, respite from her fucking 
shit that she would put on everyone is her being a beached fucking whale, like flailing around, saying like, "Help me up, help me up," okay. and like all these kids are like fucking just dying laughing. <laughs> Gotta love kids, huh? Even now when I'm saying it out loud, you it sounds still though. fucked up, though. I don't want kids. Fuck that. Well, I don't want... Yeah, no, I don't really, anyway. Not right now. Yeah, well... That's for sure. I, I have no plans. Okay. You know? But, You yeah. haven't had All the right. old talk with your GF? No, dude, and it's not gonna happen for a while. She hasn't, she hasn't asked, like, So, Jordy, when are you gonna marry me? When are we gonna settle down? No, no, not yet. Not yet. I mean, already. I already live with her anyway. Jordy, so. I have needs, Jordy. I need to be fulfilled as a woman. I need to be married or else my life is meaningless as a female. What is the deal with that? Because the patriarchy has led women to believe that they need to get married. They need to wear a good dress. Even though women like doing that anyway, so... Not all of them, you fucking yeah, exactly. sexist what I'm saying. We're going to get taken down for this. Speaking of taken down, actually, yeah. Funny thing. Well, uh, do you remember our? Uh, what was what? We, what song was it? That... It was some fucking. Turns out Arnold Schwarzenegger makes music. He makes like rap. Does he? Yeah. And one of his songs. For, for those of you listening, if you've listened to all of them, I think it must have been two weeks ago now. Yeah. Um, the one we epi- the one we episoded, the one we uploaded, which had the. Uh, we didn't upload anything. Oh, we did actually. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I uploaded it to YouTube. Yeah. Um, because I upload all the episodes to YouTube for yeah. some people, if maybe you want to listen to it on there. Um, and it it was um, copyright claimed, and I was like, "What the fuck for?" And then I remembered that we played that on oh, was the nigger video where he talked about like lifting weights and coming at the same time. Wasn't the background like some weird like vaporwave? It, it was yeah, song? it was like lobby music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and I didn't think anything of that, but like, and then it got claimed by a song just from like the artist called like Schwarzenegger, and. Did they use samples of him saying he's coming, I guess? Like, I don't is that fucking, what it is? I don't, he made... No, it's his music, though. It's Did not you like, play the song and listen to it? No, because it didn't have a link to it. I couldn't be fucked to look it up. You couldn't be fucked I to couldn't highlighting, be fucked. right-clicking and searching on Google? I'll, I'll get back to everyone next week on it, maybe, then. Okay. But, but yeah, we, we actually got fucking claimed for that for that video. So, I just... This, YouTube has a button now where it's, mm. like, uh, just trim the selected section. Yeah. And it does like it all for you. This, this is... I don't... So, do you know um, about the Apple YouTube ad con- controversy that no. happened? So, when Apple released an ad for iOS 13 or something, 14 maybe? I'm not sure about iOS versions. They had a YouTube ad that has millions of views, and in it, there was a bug in Apple's own ad. A notification what? showed up, and the head was long, and then it shrunk. Tiny wow. ass bug. That, like, that's a bug that happens on iOS. People pointed it out on Twitter... And then suddenly the video just didn't have it in it anymore. That's funny. It wasn't re-uploaded. The video was not re-uploaded. It just suddenly didn't have it in in there anymore. What? So what does that tell you? That the Google DeepMind is controlling everything. That tells you that YouTube videos can be easily, easily modified after the fact. If you All have, that. if you're Apple and have enough money. And uh, I'm not okay with that. I don't like YouTube videos. Like I th- reckon time stamping is like a thing that's missing from youtube like certification signing and all that like you know you can you can forge things on the internet like fucking easily like wordpress oh, blogs you can forge the dates and same with youtube videos like there are companies out there that can just go to google and say, say like hey i want this video edited after the fact that's to edit that shit. yeah like literally all i did was like i just clicked a button and it was gone yeah so off, on the off chance if someone listening to this podcast after listening to the mm. youtube one got confused because there's nothing that played and then happened to find this one afterwards listening to me explain it yeah that's what happened just listen on spotify as i trimmed it or well, itunes yeah like if it's it's just for people who like have shit on in the background on youtube yeah. and just like pops up uh, kind of gets us a little bit of a uh, publicity as well i guess if and it shows up in people's recommended yeah and you don't need a, an account to watch youtube as well that's true. you do for spotify and itunes yeah so that's another thing and um, on that note, yeah, it was like, I, I just thought it was fucking hilarious that... I'm going to listen to that song, because I think that's I mean, We'll play it, dude. We'll play it. Yeah, we can, like, we get, can refute get it that claimed. claim. We can refute the claim. I don't fucking care enough to. I do. Do you? You really want to refute that claim? Yeah, fucking copyright. Patent trolls. Well, not patent trolls. Copyright trolls, dude. you got to fucking put them in their place. Yeah, it would be... I don't know. I kind of can't be fucked. Yeah, because it's an automated it's an automatic system. Like, there's no way someone from YouTube watched our video specifically, our hour long video. Yeah. So it's definitely an automatic. Oh, thing. of course it's a it's a um, 
fucking algorithm yeah, pick. It's like, actually it's... a machine learning algorithm. Oh, doing, whatever, you know? dude. There actually is a very big difference. So, <laughs> well, whatever for the for the for the Geordies out there, it's all the same. It's all yeah. big, big, uh, big pharma. You uh, you didn't answer the mining. Oh, scenario. fucking hell, Jesus, yeah. Um, yeah. So I would try to work out. Do I have enough food to make it? You would a... work out down there. I don't think you have any equipment, dude. Oh well, I have lots of some rocks, rocks dude. yeah, dude. That's some. That's get my guns going, dude. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll try and uh, bench the 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 fat guy who's stuck in the uh, in the hole. Yeah. Realist- if, realistically, if you tried to pull him out, you got the whole team of people to pull him out. I don't think so because rocks are porous. They're sharp. Like he's basically wedged in there. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like the jaws on a plier. Yeah. That if you did that, the cave in would still be there anyway. So this cave in is well, right? You could probably be saving though. So in this scenario, you're absolutely trapped, one hundred percent. Both sides are blocked in. If you detonated anything under there, you'd be fucked. Your ears would explode. Your brain would like melt. Well, that's also true. That's why, like, see, the um, the original setting for this was mm. like. Uh, um, you fucking lift this off some sort of book, dude. You, I mean, well, we gonna I have try- copyright issues? No, not copyright <laughs> issues. Okay. I just didn't want to do it like word for word. I wanted to put some spin on it, okay. like my own one. It was based off one off a group, like a, a tour guide who was mm-hmm. a big, larger gentleman, and um, going through some caves. Like it was on like a cave mm-hmm. tour, and then that cave caved in, and he was stuck in there. Okay, and you know you could. They had some explosive on him. Like, one of the guys happened to have fucking dynamite on him, which didn't make sense to me, so I rewrote it, right? Yeah. So, like, this guy walking on yeah, a fucking on a cave tour, tour guide. is carrying... Not the tour guide, but well, a random yeah, guy you know on the I mean? tour. Like, on a is, tour, someone just has just dynamite. Just has a fucking stick of goddamn dynamite. God damn. So I was like, what would be a logical scenario for someone to have dynamite? Yeah. And so I, I even tried to specify, like, low-impact explosives and all that shit. But low-velocity uh, explosives. Low-velocity. Like, I, don't I don't think know dynamite is low-velocity. No, it can't be. Like, that shit mm. is fucking potent. But, like, yeah. I've I played Minecraft. I've had some bases <laughs> yeah. destroyed. Yeah? By some TNT. Do you make a TNT bomb? Do TNT cannon? That has been wrecking my mind how, how I'm going to do the algorithm for explosions in my unnamed engine oh yeah 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 yeah. I've been trying to come up with not this I mean, people don't need to hear about this <laughs> it's just programming shit Tom's remaking making Minecraft entirely yep absolutely that's what, that's what I'm doing 100% yeah. in, a, in a game I'm engine totally not going to have legal issues no 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 he's making Minecraft 2 like Notch dude <laughs> yeah 3D Minecraft 2 what a, like I I love Notch so he's a great like he's an inspiration to me like cause he, he he doesn't give a shit about like programming languages and all that like do you know what JavaScript is very vaguely i did yeah, it for school you did well, html I mean, like, yeah. stuff css javascript yeah. like so you have html hypertext markup language that specifies where things are on a web page then you have css uh, cascading style sheets that specifies what things look like and then you have javascript which like is the glue that puts everything all together like right the stitches i should say like it it's basically a language that runs in the browser and uh, it, it does things like it will accept, accept buttons, it will send data to and from websites, it will encrypt passwords oh, yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like HTML and CSS are static. Like once you load the browser, they're done. Whereas JavaScript is a program that runs in your browser. And it runs in your browser, Jordy. It runs in the browser. Yeah. And notch this fucking... Like fucking Club Penguin, dude. Yeah. I think Club, Club Penguin is Flash, but whatever. Club Penguin is kill. Yeah. It's dead. So is Flash in, in December. Yeah. That's pretty Which whack. I'm, I'm happy about Flash. Is... I'm, you know why I'm happy about it? Why? I'm going to fucking talk about this right now. Because oh. every single TAFE website uses Flash. Exactly. And it's fucking disgusting to use in Chrome. The, this fucking... All right. I'm, I'm not going to say where or what it is that I'm doing. But like what... I just said TAFE. No, no, no. As in like the website and all that shit. Cause... It's uh, blackboard.tafe.edu.au. Nah, it's actually not. But okay. it's... um, I've, I have to do all this like prerequisite uh, like quote unquote like exams like yeah. training well, stuff. Well, it is an exam. Uh, yeah, it is. Like it's used to judge uh your to examine to examine you your <laughs> um intellectual capabilities yeah. and to see how like because for me I am like a very audio visual learner. Like if I'm doing it, I will learn it much better than if you tell me how to do it. Yeah. Like Tom knows that better than anyone. Like we we play Minecraft or whatever, we play a new mod. I don't know how to fucking do I'm it. I'm pretty much need... the same way as well. Like I, I, I theorize I have dyslexia since I have to read something ten times. But go on. Yeah, and it's like I, I, and they use literally hundreds 
Mm. I'm not joking. I've done... I I only, like, realized that... Or I didn't realize I only got the confirmation that I was enrolled two weeks ago. So I've had two weeks to do, like, literally hundreds of tasks. Yeah. And every single one of them uses Flash, and it's fucking unbearable. It's worded terribly, which is the website's fault. Um... And I just, it's, it's fucking, it is goddamn, like, excruciating to use. I still haven't finished them. I've got two more days before I start. Yeah. And it's just worded so bad. Like, there's an entire, like, computer section where I have to learn how to take a screen dump. <laughs> screen dump. And how to, yeah. you know, literally how to rename a file. Open Microsoft Word. Set the formatting to text. Ariel. No, no, no. Comic point. Sans. That's yeah, real. That's, yeah, I sent, I, I sent Tom a picture of like one of the questions that was like set the font size to like 48 and then set the font to comic sans mm. and then make a table no no it was a menu i had to make for some like pizza place or whatever <laughs> literally like writing words pressing enter writing another word and then i had to save that and every single one makes you print them too it says to print them but i don't because i'm not wasting an amazon's worth of paper oh, okay. on printing them like i just do like print to pdf and then upload that but every like imagine how much paper I would have wasted. Every single one of them makes you print it out and upload it and then upload the printout. Yeah. Yeah. And then you got to save every single image as a Word document because yeah, boomers like, don't know how to use any other software. Exactly. And I have to save it in stupid boomer ways. Yeah. Like, it's, it's just... Fu- it pisses me off. Mm. Anyway. I, f- I forget what the fuck you're even talking about. I'm I just talking want... about the, the mind thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 If, if... um, Have you done... Sorry. Have you yeah. done the access stuff yet? The Microsoft oh access yeah stuff. yeah yeah that was actually there wasn't much on access because i can't imagine i'm ever gonna use what i'm studying is criminology and, oh you'll use access dude and sure. criminal justice you'll, you will and um criminal psychology and stuff but it's like because i want to be a fucking detective dude and um i i like all this shit that i'm learning just feels and i guess i'll learn it along the way to see if i actually will ever use any yeah. of it but you know what the more i'm thinking about it the more i'm like chances are i probably will use like i will not use all of it but some of it will come up right mm. it just at least you know how to do it if at least i know how you. to but the thing is is like i knew how to do it anyway yeah and and then i th- i came up with a button that says like what if there was just a checkbox that says i'm 25 years or younger and you just skip all that shit because you just immediately would know how <laughs> do to you know why though because we we've grown up with computers our entire lives we have the skills to investigate things ourselves we have the intuitiveness to like that's if- what i mean like Instead of having yeah. these, these, all these modules and shit, like, that test us on the yeah. English and the maths and all that, that's fine. But, like, for the PC shit, just have, like, I'm 25 yeah. years or younger. I'm not a boomer. Yeah, literally, <laughs> I'm not a boomer. Are yeah. you a boomer? Yes, no. If you hit yes, then it asks you all the that, questions. Honestly, that... M- oh, no, because I've... In my uh, in my software engineering diploma, there were some pretty fucking dumb people. <laughs> so they In were, your software engineering diploma? They were younger than me, and uh, they were... They just didn't know how oh. to do technology. Well, fair enough. It is hard. Yeah. You know, there's lots of letters and numbers that are involved that don't make well, any sense. especially for a software engineering course, like... Why would you even do that if you don't even know how to turn it, on a computer? Do you know why? Because it gives you an OP of, like, 8, which you can get into uni. So I have an, I have an OP of 8, which is pretty fucking good. No, n- once you finish any TAFE course, you can get into uni. No, no, but That's this, how it works. If you, if you get a diploma, or if you finish no, no, any no, no, TAFE no. course, you can get into uni. That's how it Unis works. Unis have minimum OPs. My my uh, electrical engineering no, course I, I know. has a minimum OP of eight, so I had to do that. Yeah. Whereas other diplomas will give you an OP of ten, or like eleven. Oh yeah, yeah I see what you mean. I see yeah. what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you like... meant like just to get in at all. No, no, like, no, no. Yeah, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. You, yeah. You could like it's it's an approval system. You could apply with like literally like a, a high school diploma. They yeah, fucking yeah. deny you ninety nine percent of the yeah, time. Yeah, exactly. But... Yeah. Yeah. It's um. It's definitely a good stepping stone if someone is listening and wants to do it. Just do yeah. like a TAFE course in what you're... Yeah. If you didn't quite get the OP you wanted, do a TAFE course in something that's like related to it and then go right to that. I helped so like, many people in that course because I can only just... imagine, dude, because you were like fucking light years ahead of your fucking like age in knowledge uh, yeah, of computers. Like, I guess. I, I, I don't know how the fuck you like learned all Because you were like... Even when I was like... I was thinking last hmm. night... Because we were, we just set up another Minecraft server to try and play some shit. Yeah. I was like, I wonder how many times I fucking asked him, you know, is the server up yet? Is the yeah. server up yet? Because he's been doing it for fucking ten years. Once even since, more. Like even like once we were uh, literally eleven and ten. Yeah. I he just, knew how to make servers and shit. Like what the actual? That's the craziness of the modern day is that 
as an 11 year old boy, I was like, wow, Linux is a cool thing. I want to learn about it. So, uh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. So Geordie's signaling the time because he doesn't want me to tell no, me. No, I don't know is. what the time is. How long? 40 would... minutes. What the fuck? Yeah, I was, I, uh, before you started running out of steam at 30 minutes and I started asking you about stuff, but yeah. Okay. So that's the thing. Like in this modern day, as an 11 year old boy in like 1980, I would be fucked if I wanted to learn about Linux, oh, wanted sure. to learn about programming and all that. Whereas what I did, I just literally Googled it. I was like, what is Linux? How do I use a command shell? What is scripting? What is programming? So I just literally taught myself like C sharp, C plus plus. That's kind of like that. how I um, learned to edit videos and like make videos and shit. Because I've been, yeah. I've been like, it's so fucking stupid. Because like I've, I've literally, I want to say probably thirty YouTube channels or something. Yeah, and probably close to that. Probably to genuinely close yeah. to that because like I've just I'd always go for twenty, but still that's not that far off. Still, that's a fucking lot, right? Yeah. Um. Because I've always just wanted to, like, make shit and just mm. have people see it and, like, make people laugh, I guess, or whatever. Like, super cliche shit. <laughs> like, like okay. mega... I just always wanted to, like, make videos and make shit. Like, everyone yeah. knows that. I always wanted to do it. And, um, like, that's how, I guess, like, I learned to do a lot of, like, photoshopping and editing yeah. videos and stuff, which hasn't really come in handy so far. I mean, it has. Like, you like, made... We both made the logo together. Well, that's true. Like, based on, like, skills. both of us so, doing yeah. the exact same thing. Like, making shit. Like... Yeah. Um, yeah, it's crazy how, like, just fuck. Because I remember, like, using, um, very early versions of, um, Windows Movie Maker. Yeah. Like, early, early. And I had, like, sound packs and shit, and I would make, like, stupid skit videos by myself with, like, a webcam. Did you ever make PowerPoints with, like, the clapping sound effect and all the wacky animations oh, and course, shit? Oh, dude. That of was course. so fun to do. And then it was, like, I got to a point where I was, like, one would be, like, the star wipe, and the other one would yeah. be, like, the uh, cascading <laughs> shit. And um, then I got to a point quite early where I was, like, no, nah, that's not sophisticated yeah. enough for me. It's not uh, it's not smooth enough this for doing it. doesn't Jordy. meet my standards. Yeah. So I started using, like, only fades. Mm. And then I was, like, no, that's not acceptable anymore. So I would only have to... You know, when I would when I would point to the unsuspecting kid across the room who would have to, like, control the laptop. You remember that? Whenever you do a presentation in school? Yep. There would always be one yeah. kid who would sit down there, like your friend, and I would point to him, and you know what would happen? No transitions, dude, because I'm too fucking, I'm too fucking uh, suave, sophisticated for that. Is it a requirement for, for uh, school teachers to not know how to full screen videos? Or to move the cursor. Yeah, exactly. Like, is that, like, a requirement? I think it's, like, prerequisite. Like, it's they like... sit you down in front of YouTube and they tell you, okay, present this to no, your No, what they do, what they, they do is do they nothing. sit you down and they give you the box, are you a boomer, yes or no? Yeah, if you yeah. tick yes, then you're in, dude. Because that means immediately that you won't move the cursor and you won't know how to full screen a video. It's fucking frustrating, you know? These old people... Well, okay. Listen to these, these vile fucking problems that we deal with mm. every day. It bothers me, it really does. Cause the, the, okay, this is the thing. This gonna this is somewhat serious, somewhat satirical. So I help my mom and my sister, like my sister, she's two years older than me. Like, but she uses a computer. She's an iPhone only person though. <laughs> she's somewhat like my my eldest sister, she's gone to Android because she realized that iPhones are shit, but Oh uh, dude, you just dissed everyone listening. Well, you know what I mean. Like iPhone, they're not shit, they're just Oh dude, you all have shit. We I made a podcast where I I, I like touted oh. iPhones for being really good for people oh, who don't like technology. Yeah. iPhones are good for people who don't want to have complication. Like they just want to use their phone I, as I an hundred percent see both sides. I do too. I do. But yeah. I, I'm just saying like in that context, that's cause she wanted to do more things. Yeah, she wanted yeah. to get yeah, more enough, sophisticated. But yeah, like I was saying, so whenever someone comes to me with a problem, like, you know, Oh, I can't do this. They never try. They never try to figure it out. They that's never do anything. That's a very good point. They don't push themselves to to experiment. They don't figure it out. They don't Google it. They yeah. just immediately give up. Well, I, it's like, it's because that's like, and this ties in very well. I don't know if it was on purpose. probably was. But like, yeah. because of because we grew up with like the computers, yeah. when something goes wrong, we know we have literally a click away, a way to find it out. Yeah, but... You know, like, we, we that's what I would do, right? Even still, to yeah, this yeah. day, I don't fucking ask for help unless I absolutely need it, because yeah. I will literally, like... You can figure that shit out Stay up until instantly. my eyes are red trying to figure it out on, like, obscure Reddit boards, mm. on, like, fucking, like... Stack Overflow. Yeah, like, just, just any fucking random-ass website yeah. I can find before I ask someone else. Because it's, like... I, I just... I, I like to figure it out myself, 
Because here's, yeah, like, here's the thing, know? once you learn it, you'll never need to relearn it unless you exactly. forget it. Like, that's another skill to put under your belt, whereas these people that have issues, they just don't try. It's like they don't want to learn. They don't ever want to be able to fix their own stuff. They just give up immediately. They, like, I don't understand it. I really don't. It's I mean, not it's, like, it's, I'm not... It's, um, it's a logical, in a way, thing. Because yeah. if, if you, like, don't know how to do something, and you know someone in the next room knows exactly how to do it quite easily... It's... To me, it comes down to the blind man and the fish problem. You, you, do you know what I'm going to say? Like, I actually don't, so like, please tell me. Have you never heard this story before? Maybe explain it, but I don't, not by the title. So there are three blind men in a cave, or in a hole, or something. They're in prison or something, I don't know. There's, there's a, there's a uh, like, lake next to them. They can't see... Oh, no, no, sorry. It's uh, two men, one of them is blind. Right. And the blind one, he can't forage for himself. He can't, you know do anything for himself, I guess. Yeah. Because he's never been taught. He doesn't know. So the first guy, he's like, okay, you know, I'll feed you, right? Mm. I'll find fish for you and I'll give them to you and you'll be able to eat. But the first man dies. And then, you know, the blind man can't die, can't feed himself anymore. Yeah. Whereas the second man, I'm butchering this, by the way. (laughs) The second man, what he does, he teaches the blind man how to fish for himself so that He's, you know, he knows how to yeah, do it yeah. himself. Like, I butchered the fuck out of that. You know, do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's better to teach someone how to do something than just to tell them how to fix it. Yeah, of course. Because it's like, if, if you, you never know when you'll be able to apply it again. Yeah. Like, if, but if you never... And you can help someone else as well. Exactly. Like, yeah. it's uh, like, and on the off chance that you're in an extreme situation like that, it's even more helpful. But yeah. like, it's just, for me, I don't know. It's just like the gratification for me. Like, if mm. I could figure it out myself, it's like, fuck yeah, I did that. Like it, it, that's that's it. That's the that's the only reason why I'm so fucking stubborn. And everyone who knows me knows that. Like, unless unless it's like a menial thing, then yeah. I'll just ask someone for help. But if it's like what something means or whatever, I'll look it up mm. until I it makes sense to me. Because I I need like certain wording for me to like understand certain within things. reason though. Like I I grew up like my mom's a phlebotomist. My sister's like dentist into dentistry and like nursing and all that. So I've grown up with a medical background. I know when I need help. Like, yeah. I that's that's a very important thing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, like both mentally and physically. Like if I if my arm got cut off, I'm not going to immediately start googling how to. Well, of course, s- of course. Suture yeah. it and like cauterize it. You know, like I'm I'm touting helping yourself, but you got to know when like you do oh, need help. I mean, as well. like, and if that happens to me, I will probably not call you up on a Skype call. I'll yeah, probably, probably uh, not. it'll be a Discord. A Discord call. call. I said it and then realized. <laughs> yeah. Um. I would probably uh, ring triple uh, zero. Yeah, definitely. In this sophisticated country, because three of the same number is easier than nine eleven. I don't know if nine eleven. What the fuck? That's what you have to dial in America. Nine one one. Nine eleven, dude. Why did you say nine? I don't know about you, but every time I think of dialing triple zero, nine one one immediately pops into my head. Do you know what? That's fine. That works too. In this, I know it does, but it's kind of silly. Like. I've kind of I've well, learned. I mean, the, like, yeah. we don't grow up with Australian TV shows. Like it's like it's we grew up with what? What the fuck do you mean? No, no Neighbors, like Home and Away. You oh, fucking grew up watching. No, I actually did. My mum would have it on the TV, and we only Jesus, had one TV. I feel sorry for I you. I fucking that. hate Neighbors and Home and Away. That's stupid. Acting I'm is so convinced bad. they're all the same show. They're probably made. They by just the same meld people. into one fucking big like globular mess of boring. I I'm pretty sure Neighbors and Home and Away are still going to this day. No. I'm pretty sure no at way. least one of them is. Fuck. No, it has to be because I remember seeing a Home and Away ad. I think Neighbors is as well. No fucking like, way. They've had literally how they've had three cast changes. What is it? What happens? Just menial like Australian I'm pregnant. shit. Just kidding. I'm not. That actually Just kidding. I'm married. That actually is what it is. I know. I know. Like it's it's, it's and then operas, I, don't, I don't understand how you find every half a year they have like that, a big serious thing that happens. Like one of them I remember. I'm like, triple s- pregnant. Some no no some kid went missing or something in a rainstorm oh. and he was like hiding under something and that lasted like two weeks long. No. Yeah. Tragic. Yeah. I forgot what we were talking about, but this is a pretty good wrapping the, the, up point. The, the blind man. I think we're past that. Oh yeah, yeah. You sort of wrapped it up, but it's yeah. like, um, well, we're talking about like wanting to learn things yourself and like compared to, yeah. I, don't know, I feel like that's I, right. Yeah, yeah like, uh, like that's, that's a good much... wrapping up point. Yeah. I think for this one. Sorry that it was like a. I've been doing lots of school work, so I didn't have really much time to put. Like usually, an, an episode idea just sort of hits me. I didn't quite have the uh, inspiration mm. I usually have this week because I've been so fucking. I feel like we pretty hit, hit a pretty good goal. Like we, uh, the first thirty minutes was your quandaries, and then I kind of you know 
a good so ratio. Talking to you, and then we talked about random shit. So it's just yeah, a normal like, episode. It's just, it's just a normal like, episode. It was just, yeah. like what I wanted to do was like have a main theme of, um, you know, should people be in control of other people's lives? Should yeah. you be held accountable? But anyway, have a think about those things yourself at home, and um, let us know on some way that you can't really do that on a YouTube comment or something. And I'll I'll be grateful and I'll read it. Okay, bye. Bye.